friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to make all these beautiful clay christmas ornaments this is one of the most exciting things to do during christmas to make your decoration ornaments yourself so this year friends rather than buying them we are going to make them and these are some of the beautiful pieces we have made and they are i think much more beautiful than we buy them from shops you can either make a snowflake you can either make a snowman a sleeping fox a bell santa claus christmas tree just anything you want i have also made a few butterflies and they look so beautiful you can color the clay you can glitter the clay you can also stamp the clay that is your choice so friends please to watch the whole video to make all these beautiful clay ornaments yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week all the materials needed to make this beautiful clay ornaments are listed in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them online they are also described and shown in the video so enjoy your holidays friends and let's start the video now let's quickly check out all the materials we are going to need for doing this diy first of all we are going to need air dry clay so you can either make your own air dry clay by watching my homemade air dry clay recipe i'll surely mention the link in the description box below which is this one i generally like to use it within 7 days and i do store it in a air tight container after wrapping it in a foil which looks like this or you can also use a fevacryl molded clay if i'm going to use a air hardening clay i definitely prefer this brand because it is a non toxic i'm using it from a long time and i do use it for most of my craft and artwork so this is my choice for air dry clay next friends for making different shapes of ornaments you're going to need either cookie cutters so you can use any shape of cookie cutter you have i do have this heart shape cookie cutters which we are going to use or else you can have this kind of stamping tool i also have few of my own made stamping tools or else you can have this kind of punching tools these are amazing and i have used them in so many different art videos you also get this kind of star shape flower shape leaf butterfly and different flower shape punch in it other than that you're going to need few clay molding tools and if you don't get any of this cookie cutter or stamp or this clay punches you can also use a few natural leaves for doing this diy or else there is one more option you can use this type of reference to make your ornaments other than that you need few colors talcum powder and brushes to color i'm going to use one palette knife to cut my clay and a waterproof gel ink pen if you like to draw or write something on the clay so now friends before starting my diy i like to prepare my clay so if you're going to use the homemade air dry clay you have to take out the clay and knit it very nicely for at least 1 to 2 minutes so that it will become that soft and smooth in texture okay this is for the homemade air dry clay and if you're going to use the fevacryl mold it you already know the packet contains two parts these are two different parts which you need to mix in equal quantity this is the hardener part and this is the resin part first of all friends we're going to do it with the fevacryl molded clay so i'm going to spread some talcum powder level the surface up place both the clays together with each other this is the hardener and this is the resin part using my palette knife i'm going to cut both of them in equal parts okay i'll keep this much apply some talcum powder in my hands and start rolling them in this way you have to mix them both very well till you see there is just one color which will be a gray color now friends my clay is ready and from here you can do the steps for both the type of clays either homemade or fevacryl 
and I'll spread some talcum powder on the base and on the top of this clay and then using roller I'll roll it flat okay, now finally add some talcum powder on both the surfaces your clay should not be very thin or very thick it should be absolutely perfect according to what you want it to be so now friends we will come to our first step where we are going to use cookie cutters and this stamp to make ornament first of all let's take a lot of talcum powder dip the stamp and then make few imprints You just have to tap the stamp in some talcum powder, place it on the clay and then press it with your thumb. You'll get a very clear imprint. Okay, I think this has come very good. So now using your cookie cutter, I'll also apply some talcum powder here. I'm going to cut out this part, press it, lift it gently. Okay, so we have made very good cuts. Lift out the excess part in this way. So now you can see here we have got some very beautiful hangings. So using a clay tool which will have this kind of point. Make a very simple and easy hole so that you can pass a thread through it. If you don't have a stamp like this, you can also make this just by using cookie cutter. Okay, so now I have cut the clay in some round pieces using this kind of round cap. And now I'm going to make stamp using my stamping tool exactly in the center. Just place the stamp and press it. You'll get a very clear imprint. So we have got very clear stamps. I just love the stamp imprint. And now using my clay tool, I'm going to make a teeny tiny hole so that you can attach the strings with it. So now friends, we will let them get dry. The remaining part of clay can be reused again for making more ornaments. So this is that remaining part. And now I'm going to show you the next way if you don't have a cookie cutter or you don't have any kind of mold to do it. So first of all, we'll flatten our clay. We're going to need a few leaves. So I pluck out a few leaves from my garden plants. I'll flat the clay first. Use some talcum powder here. Okay, so we have got flat clay. Apply some talcum powder. Uh, I think this is the piece I like to imprint it. And I'll take a rose leaf. So using my roller, I will flat them on the clay till they get pressed in clay. Then using a knife or a clay cutting tool, you just have to separate the excess clay from the side in this way. Try to cut the exact shape of the leaf, okay? So now friends, this is the third method to make clay ornaments using this kind of clay mold cutters. These are a set of about 47 tools. So these are definitely very useful in different DIYs. So here is my clay ready. First of all, I'll apply some talcum powder on my base, on the top, on the roller, then start flattening the clay. Okay, now apply some talcum powder on both the sides of clay when your clay is flat. And now I'm going to use this flower tool first of all and tap it on talcum powder in this way. Then I'll select this part, place it on the clay and press it gently you have got your perfect cut let's make one more with this flower place it on the clay and press it each time i like to tap my clay tools before pressing it on clay now this is time for this kind of punch so what you have to do is 
first tap it on talcum powder then place it exactly on the clay then press the sides first okay press it very well then do one tap and you'll clearly get imprint of a butterfly like this now i'm going to use the leaf punch this is an empty place press it gently on the clay then press the top to imprint okay make one more i'll make one more this flower so now friends from one side start picking up the extra clay in this way so now you have got one more set of ornaments here and you can again reuse this remaining clay before it gets dry make one more ball of chunk in this way okay make it flat and make few more of these and now using my clay tool i'm going to make few holes so that it will be easy for me to hang them this was a very easy process and you can make as many as you like so now friends i have finally completed making all the clay ornaments and this is how all of them look together and they have also got dried up if you're going to use a air dry clay from shilpakar it just takes 90 minutes to get dry but you can very clearly see how beautiful shapes and so many different clay ornaments i have got by using these many tools so now friends it's time to do some coloring part so now after all the clay parts have got dried up we're going to give a white color coating to all the clay ornaments okay now we will let them get dry for one hour at least and then we can start the decorating part if you want to use some other color of glitters other than silver or white snow glitters for example i'm going to use a green glitters on the leaves and christmas tree so you have to use the same base color which is green so i'm going to color all these leaves as green now After the first layer of color have got dry, you also have to color the back side of the leaf with the same green color. After doing the green friends, in the same way I have done a blue, yellow and pink colors on my ornaments. Because now I'm going to place a blue color glitters on butterflies and the small flowers, golden color glitters on bell and stars and few pink and random colors on these beautiful flowers and for the leaves we are going to use light green and dark green glitters now for placing the glitters i'm going to use a mod podge you can also use a fevicol or any white glue which turns transparent after the glue gets dry okay so what i'm going to do is using a flat hair brush i'm going to apply mod podge on one side of the clay in this way and then I'm going to sprinkle green color glitters on Christmas tree you can also use a light green color as you like I'm going to do the green color glitters in this way and in the bottom friends you have to place a plastic foil or at least an aluminium foil so that you don't waste too much of glitter so now the whole Christmas tree is covered with the glitters just tap it on your base in this way and you see you have got a very beautiful glittering christmas tree so friends first of all let this part get dry and then you can do the same on the back side i'm going to do the same with other ornaments also apply glue on one side then gently place it on a glitter and it is covered with glitters now my this side of christmas tree has got dry so i'm going to place my second layer on the back side in this way you can either sprinkle glitters on the christmas tree in this way or just tap it on the glitters so this is how our christmas tree ornament looks after this we can also decorate it as this is quite a big size of christmas tree so you can decorate it in more ways so now friends we will let it get dry now for the smaller size of christmas tree and other leaves i'm going to use a light green glittering powder 
so this process goes in the same way apply a layer of mod podge or any white glue on the sides first and then sprinkle it with glitters tap it and keep it to get dry tap it and keep it to get dry so friends in the same way i'm going to apply glitters on all the clay ornaments we have colored For the blue butterflies, I'm going to use sparkling light blue color. And for these two small tiny flowers, I'm going to use the ultramine blue color glitter. For the star friends, I'm going to use golden color glitter and I'm going to use them of big size. So these are this kind of big golden glitters. For the flowers, I'm going to use a dark pink color glitters. Now, I'm going to let them get dry and then finally, I'll be doing the next side and then show you how all of them look together. The same you have to do with the snowflakes. Use some Mod Podge, apply it all over the snowflake. Mod Podge to both the sides of the snow. Some of the glitters and then gently tapping the snowflake on the glitters. So now friends, here you can see I have got a very beautiful and clear snowflake. I'll just shut off the extra glitter in this way by tapping the snowflake. And now I will let the snowflake get dry. I'm going to make all the snowflakes these beautiful and glittering like this in the same way as I have shown you. For these clay ornaments, we are just going to do the easiest and simplest process that we are just going to color them. Because these ones already have their shape and beautiful stamping design on it. So we are just going to enhance the clay by using crimson red color. This is the favorite color for Christmas. So just use a flat hair brush and a little bit of color and color all these ornaments as red. So in the same way friends, you also have to color the back side of the clay. So I'm going to do the same and then show you how does the finished product looks. Okay, after the red color has got dried up friends. Just take some golden color in your finger and gently dab it over the design in this way. Okay, you'll get an unfinished look but that is what will bring out the beauty in that stamp. So now I have finally completed decorating all the ornaments and together this is how beautiful they look. The only thing remaining for this ornaments is to tie this kind of hanging a ribbon with them. For hanging this clay ornaments I have used red ribbons and golden ribbons. So these are the rolls through which you have to cut small pieces of ribbon insert it through the tiny hole we have made and you will get this kind of string you can either tie them on the tree or just put a nod in this way okay then pull the nod to the back side so that you may get this kind of easy and clean hanging string now you can easily hang it on the tree this is one of the best and easiest way so finally friends now here you can see that we have so many different ornaments this is the biggest size which is a christmas tree with so many different lightings but my favorite is the snowflakes can you believe it friends that random shape of clay has turned into this beautiful snowflake and no one can say that it was that easy making christmas tree with a star on the top i love this glittering snowman and these were the best and the easiest to make the red hearts and i have also colored few of them as this kind of golden 
with the same a red base so now friends there is only one step remaining to hang them all on the tree so i hope friends my video was helpful to you because it was a really fun making all these beautiful ornaments and making them with your family would be much more memorable for your holiday time and you can also use them every year and hang them on christmas tree as a beautiful memory so friends if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching and enjoy your holiday friends